candles start off looking and smelling beautiful and they finish off looking kind of terrible and smelling old. So we've shown you how to get rid of all of the old wax, the stickers and the suit and clean them up to turn them into beautiful reusable jars that you can repurpose around your house. And this week, I'm gonna show you a whole bunch of cool ways that you can do that. So in this video, I'll be sharing 10 different ways you can repurpose your candle jars. And on our website, cleanmyspace.com, I'll be sharing another 10 ways that you can repurpose these jars into some pretty amazing organizers. In my hand, I have two glasses. These are called rocks glasses. One of them is a $20 rocks glass that I bought at a fancy-ish store. And the other one happens to be a candle that I, you know, repurposed. But my question to you is, can you tell which is which? Well, neither can I. I mean, actually I can because I know which one I bought and which was the candle. But the point is they both look amazing. Actually, this is the $20 glass, this is the candle. These are fabulous for cocktails. They can hold ice, they're clear, they're clean, they look fun. And the cool thing about candle jar repurposing is that you can have a mix of different glasses and that can create a really cool tablescape if you're having guests over. If you want to deodorize a small space in your home, take one of your empty candle jars, fill it up about three quarters of the way with baking soda, which is a perfect deodorizer. And then you can add in a few drops of your favorite essential oils just to punch things up a bit. Leave that anywhere that you need a little bit of deodorizing action and let this air freshener take care of the rest. This used to be a Yankee candle and it is now a cute little hot chocolate and marshmallow gift that I can give to the next person I go to visit. These candle jars with lids make perfect opportunities for you to create a quick little DIY gift that you're gonna to bring to someone's house when you go and visit them. You can fill them with jelly beans, cookie, cookie dough mix, hot chocolate and marshmallows. The possibilities are endless. The point is it's a cute jar, your friend can enjoy it, and you can look extra crafty. A jar can also be used in your office to store all kinds of different office supplies, but since I am obsessed with pens, I thought it would be perfect for storing my beautiful, colorful pens in. But you can use it for paper clips, sticky notes, anything else in your office that you kind of need to corral. This is exactly what happens when you forget to put your bag of cat treats away. Instead of having to deal with that and the not cute look of having bags of cat treats everywhere, which is a look we're currently rocking at my house, I think a great way to repurpose a candle jar with a lid is to fill it with cat treats. That way your cat can kind of admire them from a distance, but won't be able to get into them and you will look seven times cuter than you already do by having one of these. <laughs> this is a pretty unoriginal use for a candle holder, but it's a good use. I am going to use it for a new candle. And this is a cool one. It kind of floats, so I filled it halfway with water over here and I'll just light her up. And now I have myself a brand new, clean candle holder. I do love a good body scrub, but I don't love the price tag of said body scrubs. What better use for a candle jar with a lid than a DIY body scrub? And there's a really simple recipe. All you need to do is use two parts oil. In this case, I'm using melted coconut oil and one part sugar. So I'm using a cup of oil to a half cup of sugar, mixing that together and adding 20 drops of essential oils here I'm using a mix of lime and vanilla. I'll stir it all together, leave it in the jar, and then I can use it at my leisure whenever I need to scrub off some you know what. If you empty your pockets at the end of the day and find yourself dealing with all kinds of change from coffee runs or whatever else it is, especially us Canadians, we happen to have a lot of coins rolling around. You would benefit from having an empty candle jar sitting at the door or on your dresser that you can actually use to fill with change. It's also a good solution for your car. If the candle holder fits in one of your cup holders, pop it in and that way you'll always have somewhere to corral your loose change while you're driving. Animals shouldn't be the only beneficiaries of DIY candle jar ideas. Humans can benefit too. In fact, this DIY candy jar is specifically for Chad because he happens to absolutely love Skittles. And what a perfect way to display beautiful, colorful Skittles than to put them in a nice clean candle jar. The reason I filled the jar with Skittles is because Chad is obsessed 
with Skittles. But I'd love to know what is your favorite candy that you would put in your candle jar? Let me know in the comments down below. We saved the best one, at least in my opinion, for last. When we were reading the comments on the video where you guys were mentioning your favorite uses for repurposed candle jars, your number one comment was succulents and cacti cactuses, depending on where you come from and what you call it. Regardless, Chad decided to pick out this cactus and this particular jar for his office because they're both green and they look great. And here you go, a new plant for his office. I think this looks fantastic. And honestly, if you went to a fancy home decor store, you know you'd be paying like $25 for this situation. So clean yourself out a candle jar, get yourself a cactus and look fancy. I promise you guys, this is the last video we're gonna do on candle jars for a good long time. In the meantime, I hope you've had a lot of new learnings about what you can do with candle jars. Remember to check out our website, cleanmyspace.com. We'll get the link down there for you. That way you can see the other 10 uses. And I'd love to know in the comments again, just a quick reminder, what kind of candy are you going to fill your candle jar with? Let me know down there. If you wanna see what I'm up to during the rest of the week, aside from figuring out ways to repurpose candle jars which took up a large chunk of my week you can find me on instagram and snapchat i am at melissa maker the guy who is a cactus not on his chair in his office is at the chad reynolds and we are at clean my space there's a button down there that lets me know you care so click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time